Hey guys, this is for coaches, healers, and practitioners of various modalities. Welcome. Um, tonight, I want to talk to you about beyond modalities into transformational transmissions. Uh, some of you might have seen that recently. I did my, I had my own kind of awakening around integrating my sense of my priestess archetype uh, and integrating that back in with my teacher. My teacher is very attached to different modalities and skills and techniques and processes and step-by-step -step structures and strategies and patterns. And my priestess uh, kind of drops into the all-knowing void of uh, transformation. Hey, Suzanne. So I was really thinking about this kind of beyond modalities into a transformational transmission. And, and what does it take to actually get there? What does it take to become a field of knowingness and a field of permission that is so great that the minute that people join your thing, they start to get immediate results without you having taught anything? The minute they step into your container, they minute, the minute they start working with you, they start to create change. Uh, so there are people, you know, friends and colleagues that I know that have this kind of uh, effect on people. And, and so it's very interesting to me. And so I was thinking about my daughter, Ruby, who's learning, uh, who's learning to read and write. And when we're learning to read and write, as you may remember, you learn each individual letter and you learn you know, each individual, there's A, B, C, D, there's all the individual letters and you learn each individual letter and you learn the A with precision. You learn how to draw it with precision. You learn how to, uh, you know, you learn how to do each letter with precision. And then once you have each letter, you can start stringing them together to make sentences. And as you develop this sense of conscious competence you know she's at a level of conscious competence where she's still needing to ask me for you know what how do how do I spell this and what's this word here and you know spelling phonetically and that type of thing so as you're working through from unconsciously unskilled into consciously skilled that takes effort and it takes teaching and it takes skills and it takes practice and then you move to, you know, after the practice and after the skills and after the training from people who already have the skills, you get to a point of having embodied and uh, unconsciously integrated those skills to the point where they just become a part of you. And when you have that, then you can start to, like with writing, you can start to string the words, the letters together easily into sentences, into poetry, into music, into, you know, reading fabulous books that take you to different places. But if you didn't go back to learning those letters uh, all the way back as a child, then you would never have the opportunity to move into the ability to write poetry or read books or read stop signs, you know, that type of thing. One of my... Um, a family member of mine has struggled with illiteracy and he, he's an elderly man now and has spent his whole life never being able to read. And it always astonished me that, that you wouldn't like just take the time to learn to read. Um, but there can be so much stigma around, you know, around learning. And when we're adults, sometimes there can be this sense of, oh, you know, shame around going back to practice, to the practice stage and being a student and committing to uh, becoming a disciple of a particular uh, field that you want to learn. And so I was thinking about this as it relates to coaching. And when we think about modalities, there's various modalities and each of them has their own, you know, sense of letters or processes or systems or structures that they use. And as you, you know, as, as a practitioner, you know, like I know about six different modalities now and, and integrate them and, and see how they interrelate. And when you start to see how those different modalities interrelate and how, you know, you can start to see beyond the modality to the structure of transformation that lives underneath that. And when you know the structure of transformation that lives beyond the modality, 
you can bring that field of transformation into any modality, into any practice or any conversation to create transformation. So I'm opening up the Growth Collective tonight on the Lionsgate, just a little gentle opening, <laughs> a little gentle soft opening of the Growth Collective tonight. And in the Growth Collective, I'm going to be teaching uh, the modalities of NLP and coaching. And beyond that, though, I'm going to be bringing you guys into a field of transformation that is about synthesizing all sorts of different modalities, that is about synthesizing and honoring and paying respect to lots of different modalities, whether it's spiral or Reiki or theta healing or auric clearing or DNA uh, transformation, you know, DNA activation or, you know, cognitive behavioral therapy or whatever it is, meta coaching, whatever it is, each uh, each facet, each part has uh, has a part to play. And I think that the time has come for us to stand together and share our knowledge and share our wisdom with each other and move beyond the better than, worse than and shift into a field of collaboration. And this is a part of my journey is to support that and to stand for that. And so, yes, in the Growth Collective, there will be a place for me to teach you NLP, right? I will be able to teach you NLP in my online training course that will module by module take you through the lessons to learn NLP. That's a module, a modality. And when you have that modality, there is a lot of structure and system in there that allows you to ground a lot of other modalities and allows you to communicate with precision that allows you to, you know, to really create transformation and bring your any other modality and make it even more powerful. So that's what I wanted to, to say tonight. It's really about integrating these modalities, but in order to move beyond them, you have to know them and you have to embody them first. And I absolutely 100% wholeheartedly believe that learning NLP, learning neuro-linguistic programming, if you are in the coaching, healing, helping practitioner fields, learning NLP is an absolute foundational skill. And if you don't have that foundational skill, then, then you're, you're missing out on some really powerful uh, skill, you're missing out on a really powerful skill set that can amplify your other gifts. And when you have that, then it allows you to frame and put a container for your intuitive gifts so that you can communicate them with power and give you some structures for your coaching sessions to allow you to move with ease and grace wherever your client needs you to go. So I'm opening up the Growth Collective. I'll put the link uh, below. There will be a Founders Special for the first uh, 20 members who join up. And if you'd like to become a founder and uh, and get involved, then let me know. Drop an emoji below and I will send you a special code for our founder membership rate. And after that 20, uh, after that first 20 people have joined up, then we will have the, the standard investment rate, which is super, in, super low. I'm going to bring in some really incredible teachers. I've got a really great uh, collection of colleagues. Uh, Dane, you know, my friend Dane, who created The Spiral, will be one of the first uh, guest mentors so that we can talk through the kind of the structure of The Spiral, the, the levels of The Spiral, which are so important to understand as, you're moving, as we're moving through this ascension of consciousness. And like lots of uh, like sales trainers that are great friends of mine that are, have so much integrity um, you know, kinesiologist, NLP trainer friends that have incredible, you know, incredible wisdom to share. So many wonderful trainers and teachers of other modalities that I'm going to invite in for guest spots into this growth collective so we can start to share uh, information and have this collaborative field of honouring other, honouring everybody's modality, honouring everybody's space in this, in this, you know, in this work that we're doing. You know, we are doing very important work right now. And the more I realise how uh, how much the climate, the planet is calling out 
for people to raise their consciousness, to shift into kinder, um, into kinder thoughts and more productive thoughts and more compassionate thoughts, then we need every single one of us to stand up and be counted and do the work that our souls are calling us to do. So if you would like to learn your letters so you can move beyond letters and start to write poetry with your coaching sessions, then come be a part of the growth collective it is a really it's going to be a really magical place for us to learn together to grow together to share together and become better together join us i would love to see you on the inside bye